Um, anyone that doesn't know me, I'm Sarah and um, we're doing vinyasa flow yoga today. It is for all levels, um, so just making sure that you're listening to your body um, and just going at your own pace, doing um, whatever feels good. Um, so if you normally use a block, if you've got a book or something around that you can use, then that's perfect. Um, and then let's get going. Um, so as I say on these lives, I'm not using music, so please put on whatever playlist you like, you're all muted so I can't hear it, um, and just really make it your own. So, let's get going. So just kneeling with your um, bum sat back on your heels, with your knees together, your feet together, shoulders rolling down and back. Uh, if this isn't comfortable, please sit on a chair or um, cross-legged, um, just whatever feels good to start the practice. So remembering this is your half an hour. So I'm going to start by shaking everything off, so please join me. So just letting the hands go, then the arms go, just giving me a good shake, maybe shaking the head side to side, shaking out the shoulders, shimmying the body, shrugging the shoulders off. Oh, just really getting the energy going, getting the energy out. Whew. And then rubbing the hands together, creating some heat between the hands. Really get the heat coming. You can feel the warmth and then give yourself a nice big hook. Just letting yourself settle down. Just feel the warmth in the hands. Let your breath start to slow, start to settle. And then when you're ready, just releasing your hands down to your knees. So either the backs of the hands can be on the floor and you can rest them on the lap with the palms facing up. And just starting to close down the eyes or just lowering the gaze to the floor. So we're settling into the space. We're thinking of the posture, we're keeping the spine nice and long. So we've got a two-way pull reaching up through the crown of the head so we get a slight tuck of the chin. And then really pulling down with the tailbone. So you're really lengthening through the whole spine. Just noticing the breath, it's flowing in and out, knowing there's absolutely nothing wrong with wherever it is today, however it feels today. Hmm. And just breathing there. We're going to start to take the breaths a little bit deeper. So we're going to inhale, you can count to four. So we go four, three, two, one, and then on an exhale, pursing the lips like you're blowing out a candle. Just as long as you can, so you've really emptied your lungs. So inhale for four, three, two, one, exhale. So just doing this with your own breath in your own time. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Exhale, pursing the lips, blowing it out. Nice. And then letting the breath return back to normal. Ah, maybe opening up the eyes. So start to get some movement through the shoulders. So taking a few shoulder rolls backwards. Taking them up to the ears and then really dropping them down. The next time your shoulders come all the way back, clasp the hands behind the back and gently lift the chest forwards pinning the shoulder blades together. Maybe the gaze comes up on a diagonal and the chest lifts you forwards and out. Gently releasing the hands. We'll do shoulder rolls forwards, so exactly the same, nice and big, up to the ears and all the way forwards. And then the next time you end up all the way forwards, maybe the hands can grab onto the knees and you can curve backwards. So you're really trying to separate between the shoulder blades, really feeling a tension like across the back. So you're really stretching out through the top of the back. And then gently releasing it off. Hooking the hands back together behind your back. So you're just linking your fingers. And then gently pull your fist around so that your right arm is crossed around your back. So you're just holding your fist at your side. We're gently just gonna drop the left ear to the left shoulder. Sorry, I'm not mirroring this, so I hope you're following me. But just whichever side your fist is at, the ear goes to the same side. So just lengthening through the neck, really drawing that right shoulder down, that opposite shoulder down. And then gently switching sides. So pulling that fist 
to the other hip, so it just sits on your hip bone, and then just dropping your ear over, shoulders grounding down, and just breathing nice and steadily. And then gently releasing the hands. So on your next inhale, sweeping the left hand high. As you exhale, the other hand just re releases out to the side and we just release over. So we're in our side bend. So keeping the chest nice and open, really projecting the chest towards the ceiling. The gaze goes towards the ceiling. Keeping the breath nice and steady and grounding down through that opposite hip to get that nice long side stretch. We're going to do one more inhale here. On the exhale, we're going to sweep the fingers as far forwards as you can. Really reach, 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 reach. Going all the way around to the other side. Left hand drops, right hand reaches overhead. So again, keeping that nice open shoulder, keeping that nice open line to the ceiling. Just doing a little breath here. And then we'll move through that sweeping motion again. So you can do this in your cross-legged position or wherever you are. We're just keeping it moving. So every inhale is at the side, and then every exhale is as you pull forward. Inhale side. Exhale as you come forward. So just in your own time, you don't have to be the same time as me. We all breathe differently, and we all breathe perfectly. There's nothing wrong with whatever speed you're moving at. If you want to try this with me, please do. Don't feel like you have to. When you come to the side and you plant that left hand down, maybe the right leg comes out and we just extend, open, pushing the chest forwards, and then draw all the way back in. We're keeping it moving. Exhale, forward. <laughs> Inhale, right hand plants down. Left leg comes out and you extend that even further. Maybe the hand goes all the way backwards. Exhale, forwards. So we'll just do two more. And whichever version you're doing, don't feel like you have to do this if it doesn't feel so good. All about listening to the body. And doing what feels nice for this half an hour, getting some movement through it. So next time you end up forwards, we're just going to gently walk the hand back up to centre and come back to kneeling. So let's relaxing the hands back on the knees. Maybe closing down the eyes for a moment. Settling the breath in the chest. Just inhaling and exhaling. And then gently opening the eyes. We're going to walk the hands forwards to our tabletop position. So we're going to move through our cat cow. We'll do our flowing version of the cat cow. So as always, the fingers are spread nice and wide, maybe placing them down one at a time, really spreading them as far apart as you can. The wrists are underneath the shoulders, they're stacked, making sure the knees are underneath the hips, pressing down with the feet. As you inhale, you lift through the crown of the head, drop the belly. As you exhale, press the ground away, curving through the spine, the chin comes into the chest, and then gently sitting the bum back to the heel. Inhale, maybe the elbows drop. They don't have to. They can stay off the floor. Just as we come forwards to that nice extension through the chest. And then as you exhale, really curving through the spine. Coming all the way back into that always child's pose. So we'll just do a few more, just with your own breath. You can stick to your regular cat-cow. You don't have to come back onto the uh, sitting back if it doesn't feel so good. I'm really trying to extend that breath out now. How slowly can you move? And the next time you're back in your child's pose, you can tuck the toes together so they touch. The knees can be as wide as you want, and then we're just dropping the belly in between the thighs, relaxing the elbows down, relaxing the forehead to the floor. If it doesn't go to the floor, you can always cross, holding your elbows and release the hands. Release the forehead to the arms. Taking a few breaths in our child's pose. Knowing that there's nothing to hold on to here. It's just sinking, releasing into the mat. We'll just do one more breath here. 
and then gently coming back up, finding your tabletop. We're going to move into our thread of the needle. So we're going to move into a twist. So again, pressing down with the tops of the feet, making sure you've got a nice strong base. On an inhale, you're going to raise the right hand open to the side, so really into a nice twist. As you exhale, thread the hand through, just behind the other hand, and then drop the shoulder to the floor. So maybe the ear comes to the floor, the back of the shoulder. Inhale, press into that left hand, rising all the way back up. So we're moving nice and slowly, we're moving with intention, and we're moving with the breath. So again, absolutely fine to go at a completely different pace to me. Go as fast or as slow as feels good. But the next time you end up down here, maybe we can hold it here. So keep flowing if that feels better for you. Otherwise, we're pressing down the tops of the feet. We're pressing into that left hand, really trying to twist so that the left shoulder opens up towards the ceiling. The gaze might go towards the ceiling. If you're happy, maybe you press out with the left foot. So the left knee comes off the floor and you're pressing back into the toes, really pressing back through the heel, which is off the mat, really feeling a lengthening down the back of the leg. If you're happy, the left hand can sweep all the way around and maybe feel for the inside of that right thigh. So you're feeling for the hip or the thigh, really opening the twist. Just hold this at any level that you want. You can still have both knees down. If you're happy, maybe you can lift that leg off and test your balance today. This is one to fall over in. <laughs> I fall over in it often. So wherever you are, we'll just do one last breath. And then gently sweeping the hand back down to the floor. Dropping that left knee, pressing into the left hand, coming all the way up, opening the chest to the side. And then exhale back to center. Take a little wiggle through your tabletop and let's move into the other side. Inhale, sweeping up with the left hand, open the chest. Exhale, drop the left shoulder. Maybe drop the left ear. We'll do a couple more. Again, in your own timing. So just encouraging space. Next time you find yourself down here, Pressing into that right hand to encourage that right shoulder to open, the gaze goes towards the ceiling. Holding it here if you want. Maybe you're pressing backwards into the ball of that right foot. Maybe you're lifting the right hand all the way over, feeling for the inside of that left thigh or that hip, really trying to open into that twist. And if you're happy, maybe you're lifting into that balance today. So whichever variation you're in, just holding it for two more breaths, knowing that falling out of postures is one of the best bits of yoga, I think, and we shouldn't take it too seriously. <laughs> So gently pressing into that right hand, wherever you are, gently bringing it back to the mat, bringing that right knee back to the mat, and coming all the way up, inhale, and exhale back to centre. Lovely guys, we're going to tuck the toes and find our downward dog. So the bone comes back to the heels, lengthening as much as you can through the back, lifting the, the knees off, and then pressing the hip nice and high to the ceiling, keeping the knees as bent as you need to, and then walking, just pedaling through the feet, so bending into the right leg, bending into the left leg. So just getting a bit of movement through your downward dog. I'm stepping over to check we're all okay. Fabulous. So as always, we're keeping the downward dog nice and active. We're trying to hug the shoulders towards each other, so the armpits are coming in like they're trying to look towards each other. And then we're lengthening back and then pressing down through the heels. Maybe finding a little bit of stillness there just for a couple of breaths. And then on your next inhale, floating the right heel towards the sky. 
just nice and briefly and then exhale bringing the knee nice and gently into the chest and gently stepping that right foot in between the hands using your hand to gently help you if you need it today dropping the back knee untucking the toes we're finding our nice low lunge the hands sweep overhead we've got a nice line in the front leg so the knee is directly over the ankle making sure if the knee is in front of the toes we can just walk the back leg backwards a little bit so we're lifting up through the front of the body and squeezing the glutes slightly help us keep nice and stable spreading the toes on that front foot and then gently you're going to bring the left hand just to the side of that foot that front foot we're going to move into a twist so the right hand opens to the side we've got a nice straight line between the bottom hand and the top hand really opening the chest flat to the wall if you're happy you can tuck the back toes and lift the back knee that's completely optional one last breath here gently releasing all the way down really untucking the back toes again the hand comes back to the mat we're going to send the bum and the hips towards the back of the room so we're creating a right angle in the back leg and then pulling the toes up back towards us so keeping this leg as bent as you want to this is where if you have a book you normally use a block that might be quite a good idea so you can just have it on the floor and we're just trying to really lengthen the spine so starting from an upright position if you want to and just gently coming as far forwards without letting the spine curve so we've got a nice long line from the crown of the head all the way down to the tailbone really pulling the toes back towards us pressing out through the heel just stretching off the leg as much as you can as much as feels okay knowing that you're never meant to be in pain just working with the body nice and gently so wherever you are just gently bending backwards into that front knee releasing your block if you have it hands plant down tuck the back toes back under and we sweep all the way back to find our downward dog so you can always come just onto your knees to come back to there if that works for you today and we'll go to the other side so inhale sweeping the left leg high just briefly coming all the way forwards nice gentle step of that left leg drop the back knee untuck the toes inhale coming all the way forwards nice low lunge So exactly the same as before you might not feel the same often our bodies aren't very symmetrical and that's okay just working with that so lifting up through the front of the body one last breath here reaching through the fingertips really getting the energy going all the way up to the edges of the fingertips then planting the right hand down next to that left hand and then twisting open so we're really lifting open almost like you're leaning backwards against a wall energy from the top fingertips all the way down through the palm of that bottom hand really pressing down into the mat feeling the energy tucking the back toes lifting the back knee if you want completely optional Maybe the gaze goes towards the top fingers. We'll do one last breath. Gently dropping the back knee, untucking the toes, the hand comes down, walking the hands backwards, sending the hips backwards, flexing the front foot. So the toes come back towards us, pressing out through the heel, exactly the same. So maybe you've got your block, nice flat back, nice, easy breath. one last breath here and then gently walking the hands forward spraining the front foot tucking the back toes gently coming straight back into your downward dog if you can or just by your knees on your next inhale we're going to sweep the right leg high and then exhale gently step the right foot forwards in between the hands again 
It's exactly like we just did. This time we're not going to drop the knee, we're coming into a high lunge. So the arms sweep up. Drop the knee if you need to, otherwise we're thinking about the exact same things. We're spreading the toes on that front leg, we've got that nice right angle. Pressing backwards through the leg, keeping it nice and active, pressing back through the heel. On your next inhale, stretch the front leg, pivot on the back foot, planting the heel down so the toes open towards the long edge of the mat, and then exhale, warrior two. The gaze just goes over the front middle finger. And we're reaching equally forwards and backwards, so I don't want you to have come forwards with the body here. We need to make sure we're nice and grounded through the center. A nice right angle in the front leg. From here, we're gonna move into our extended side angle. So dropping the front elbow to the front knee. The other arm reaches over the head. So it can either come in a straight line up to the ceiling, if that works for you today, or try and find a nice diagonal line. So the fingertips all the way down to the outside edge of that left foot. Or in one straight line. We're thinking of the shoulders coming down and back. The gaze can go up towards the ceiling, holding it here, or if you want to move into a bind, please do. So if you've not tried this before and want to give it a go, the top hand comes behind you, and you just feel for the outside edge of that right leg. Your right hand just gently comes underneath the right leg and see if you can find your fingers. We're opening the chest to the ceiling, opening the elbow to the ceiling, gaze goes up. So knowing you can hold it here if you want, you don't have to do any more than this. We're engaging everything, everything's working. And we're breathing nice and deeply. Finding some stillness. Inhale, coming all the way up, stretching the front leg, releasing the bind if you are in the bind. And then the hands come all the way down. We're gonna move into our pyramid today. So we're gonna hop the back leg, so it's a little bit closer, and just so that the hips and the chest all come to the short edge of the mat. So we're really turning everything in. The back toes, the left toes, go to 45 degrees, and the right toes are pointing forwards. We'll bring the hands into the heart, really pressing between the hands. We find that connection with the thumb and the chest. Inhale, lift the chest to the ceiling. And as you exhale, reaching forwards through the crown of the head, finding a nice long line all the way to the tailbone. Just going as far as you can with that nice flat back. So you can micro bend that front leg, please don't lock it up. And we're spreading the toes, try not to clench the toes, spreading the toes nice and wide. From here we're going to do one more inhale. And as you exhale, just releasing the body over the leg. So again, if you've got your block, you can have your hands on your block. Or on your leg, whatever feels good, you can just hold onto your thigh, hold onto your shin, and bend that knee as much as you need to. In this position, we're thinking of drawing backwards with the right hip crease. So really pulling backwards with that right hip, just to bring that left hip forward. One last breath in. And gently bend into the front leg, the hands come to the heart. We're coming all the way back up to that nice flat line. From here, we're gonna try and press off into our warrior three. So I'm quite close to the mirror, so I'm gonna come backwards. So we've got a nice line here. You can bend into this leg and then gently test your balance, see if the back foot can come up. So the toes point towards the floor, you're pressing out through the heel, you're reaching through the crown of the head and you're dropping that left hip towards the floor. We've got one more breath. And then you gently bring the knee in, see if you can keep it off the floor, keep that balance, bringing it all the way into the chest. If you want, you can bring your right hand across that left knee and then pull the left arm backwards so we're moving into a twist, standing twist here. Really trying to ground into the mat. So feeling all four corners of the feet really connecting to the floor, spreading the toes, reaching through the crown of the head. If you're happy in your twist, you can bring your hand to the outside edge of that foot and then press that heel forwards. So just whichever variation you want to. One last breath here. Gently releasing down. So if you're just releasing your hands, then you've got a straight leg. Keep it straight. If you've got it bent, keep it bent. One last breath. And then slowly bring it all the way down. Nice. Take a little release, rocking out from side to side. I'm just going to change sides, but please stay at the top of your mat, just so you can see me going the other way. So we're going to do a 
Sun salutation to take us down to the floor. Inhale, the hands seat back. Exhale, hands through heart, bend the knees as much as you need to, the body releases forwards. Inhale, halfway lift the chest. Exhale, hands plant down, stepping back, finding a nice high plank. Option to move through a vinyasa here, so you can drop the knees or keep them lifted. We haven't got many of these today. If you don't feel like a vinyasa, please just come to your downward dog and wait there for us to join you. Because we're all coming there now anyway. We'll do two nice deep breaths. Oh, maybe sighing it out. Give me a nice oh, release. On your next inhale, floating the left heel to the ceiling. And then exhale, gently bringing it between the hands. We're coming into that high lunge, so the hands come up. Getting that nice right angle in the front leg, pressing back through the back heel, nice active back leg, or you can drop that knee down. So nice deep breaths. Focusing on that balance right from the very beginning of this sequence, so we're spreading the front toes. Got one more breath here. And on your next inhale, stretch the front leg, pivot on the back leg, dropping the heel down so the toes point towards the long edge of the mat, and then exhale, warrior two. A couple of nice deep breaths. Exactly the same setup. So at the moment, the legs are like on a tightrope. We're making sure that the front heel is kind of in line with the arch of the back foot. So everything can be nice and open, nice and in line. It's like you're between two panes of glass. You're stuck in between the double glazing. One last breath here. And then gently releasing the front elbow to the knee, the other hand comes up to the ceiling, or over the head to get that nice long diagonal line. Really grounding through the outside edge of that back foot. So I'm not rolling on, we're really feeling the little toe edge. Just helping us get a nice stable base. Holding it here, if you want to try the bind, the top hand sweeps round and just feels the back of that thigh, that left thigh. The left hand might sweep underneath. See if you can find your fingers and then opening the chest to the ceiling, opening the elbow to the ceiling, holding it there. Whichever variation you're in, just nice deep breaths. Lovely guys, really nice. Feeling that front thigh, one last breath wherever you are. Gently coming all the way back up, stretching the front leg, and exhale the hands down. Lovely work. Finding our pyramid. So we're hopping the back foot open, the hips twist, the shoulders twist, and we're on the um, train tracks now, so we're not on that tight rope. That would make this very, very hard. So I'm gonna step back just so that I'm not gonna hit the door as we go into this. Hands into the heart. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, find that nice long line through the spine, a nice flat back. Already drawing backwards with that left hip, pulling forwards with that right hip, stretching off the leg. One last inhale here. And as you exhale, releasing the body forwards over that leg. Holding on to your block if you have it, onto the shin, onto the thigh. And just coming back to the breath. On your next inhale, little micro bend through that front leg. If it is straight, the hands into the heart coming up to a nice flat back. We're going to hop onto that front leg. Nice and gently kick backwards through that back heel if you can. A nice long line, warrior three. One more breath here. So keep that front leg bent if you want. You can stretch it if you want to. And then gently coming all the way back through centre, keeping that leg off the floor if you can. Knee comes into the chest. Opposite hand can come to that knee and we can open the right hand to the side to get that nice twist. Or maybe the hand comes to the outside edge of that foot and you can kick forwards through the heel. So we'll do two breaths in our twist, our standing twist. Really feeling the pull upwards through the crown of the head, downwards into the mat, out through the fingers. Nice and strong. 
gently release the foot wherever you are. So if it's long, just release it. If you're here, you can just take your hands up, bring the hands back to the heart. We'll do one last breath, holding it, holding it, holding it. Whichever variation, and then gently release down. Just releasing from side to side. Really nice work, guys. I'm just gonna come back to the other side. We're gonna come down to the floor for our Shavasana. It's been quite an active practice today. So we'll do one last sun salutation to take us there. Inhale, hands sweep wide. Exhale, hinge from the hips, folding forward. Inhale, lift the chest. And then exhale, the hands plant down. Stepping, jumping back, finding your plank. From here, taking a vinyasa if you want to, your last one of the day, so you can lower the elbows to the floor. Otherwise, we can just gently come back to our child's pose. And once everyone else has joined us here, we'll gently walk the hands in and swing the legs round. We're going to come to lie on our backs for our Shavasana. So you can take the feet out nice and wide, just toes flopping out, or you can bring the feet, soles the feet to the mat and let the knees knock in together. So just listening to the body and what feels best for the spine, hands away and the body palms facing up. And when you found a nice comfortable position for the body, just gently closing down the eyes or lowering the gaze. Taking this last minute of your practice. To just be. Nothing for you to do here. Releasing any tension between the eyebrows. Maybe relaxing the jaw so the lips part slightly. And let the body sink a little bit deeper to the mat. So wherever you are, we're going to start getting some movement back through the body, bringing the knees into the chest, giving yourself a nice big hug. Maybe stretching out long if that feels good. And then gently bringing yourself onto your right side, using your right arm as a pillow. And just taking your last few breaths. Just letting your body sink down, knowing that the mat is there to support you. The earth is there support you. And then gently pressing up from your hand, kind of coming up to seated. Any comfortable seated position. And we'll do two last breaths together. Letting the hands rest down on the knees. And we'll just do two nice breaths. So inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And we're just sighing it out, releasing it. One last breath, inhale. Exhale, let it go. And then bring your hands into heart center. Namaste. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sarah. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> I hope you all had a nice practice. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your Friday night. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>